rarest crossbreed hybrid animals. If you could create an animal, what would it be? And how close is science to actually making one for real? Let's explore the world in search for the rarest hybrids. Some are so bizarre, they look like successful laboratory experiments, while others just happen by pure chance, perhaps to help save some species from extinction. In a world of infinite possibilities, what is the next step in the evolution of nature? Meet the rarest crossbreed hybrids you won't believe actually exist. And for some extra fun, find our mascot net hiding throughout the video. Here, large kitty kitty. What will happen if the zoo forgot to close the doors from the jaguar and lion dividing gate or the lion and tiger? As bizarre as that sounds, there have been several large cat funny business going on. The most impressive of all is the jag lion, a hybrid mishap gone well from a male jaguar and a lioness. The offspring is a large version of the jaguar with its rosette patterns and a mild version of a lion's mane. Tsunami and Jahara are twins, both displaying the jaguar-like rosettes but one is black like a panther, while the other has the light color of a lion. These unique siblings live in Canada. If you're heading up north to Barrie, Ontario, swing by the Bear Creek Sanctuary. Tsunami and Jasara are there having a blissful time playing and being large kitties. Another extremely impressive hybrid is the white liger, a Siberian white tiger that was paired with a lion. Its fur is as dense as the lion, but it displays the coloration and stripes of the magnificent tiger. The most famous liger is called Hercules. He is the opposite of the white liger. He actually displays the lion's coloration, but its body looks like a tiger. His magnificent size is much larger than his two parents, hence his name. Growler bear. Stuffed bears, pretty much every child has one. They are soft, fluffy, and so huggable. But what about the really giant ones? Meet the cuteness overload, a hybrid between the largest bear in the world and a fluffy Arctic wanderer who could live in inhospitable places you will need more than a coat to survive. Due to climate change, the grizzly bears have been moving north, looking for food and shelter from human encroaching. As they migrate, they meet other bear species and breed with them. Although there have been many encounters of polar bears meeting the grizzly bears, they have only been few cases of successfully hybridizing the two in the wild. The result? The growler bear. The growler bear can be found in zoos as it's common practice to hybridize animals in order to enlarge the genetic pool of certain species. But what would be the effects in the wild? Further research will be done in the future to see how the growler bears adapt to climate change. What if they are the answer to the polar and grizzly bear survival and adaptation? Koi wolf what if Red Riding Hood's grandma was something more sinister? We humans have managed to not only hybridize animals in labs and zoos, but also due to hunting, there have been many species that have to fill the void left due to negative human-animal interaction. One of the best examples of ecological imbalance is the out-of-control deer population in many northeastern parts of the United States, where wolves were once kings. Wolves are at the top of the food chain. They hunt the weak in a herd and keep the balance in the ecosystem. Therefore, ensuring stronger herds in ecologically manageable numbers. But what would mate with a wolf? After the Europeans settled in the New World, the wolves were deliberately driven to the brink of extinction. As a result, coyotes had to take the reins as top predators. In the wild, there have been many encounters of coyotes who have moved east, encountering eastern wolves. The result? 
McCoy wolf, a genetic adaptation between the two. What does it mean for the environment? Regaining a top predator is the best way to keep nature in balance, something we humans are still learning to do. Even if the answer is not just a wolf or a coyote, but the koi wolf. Geep. Farm animals are so necessary and cute. Petting zoos will not be as fun if there were no sheep or chickens or goats. Kids roaming around petting the animals and feeding the older kids. That's actually the name of baby goats. Goats, they eat everything and even steal the food you got for everyone at the petting zoo. And despite how you feel about goats, one may even climb on you. Sheep, on the other hand, they just like to relax and be fed. So what if you could get the best of both worlds? Softer to pet, yet more playful but less rambunctious. Nearly impossible. Goats have 60 chromosomes while sheep have 54. So what do you do with the extra chromosomes? To answer that, meet the Geep, an extremely rare hybrid that almost never makes it to birth. A birth of a Geep is newsworthy. In 2014, that was one of the biggest headliners in Scottsdale, Arizona, where one healthy Geep was born. The family was so shocked since they did not ever think that was possible. The Snow Barnacle Goose Swan With its long neck, a swan could win the prize of the most grateful of the birds. Its shiny white or deep black feathers complete the elegant ensemble. So why would they even consider settling for anything less sophisticated than themselves? Nature, a mystery that will never be solved, keeps throwing curveballs to our understanding of evolution versus adaptation. There have been few cases of the large snow goose pairing with swans resulting in the snow swan hybrid. A stockier looking swan with a shorter neck that looks very much like a goose with a longer neck. As bizarre as that may look, in 2008, scientists spotted a unique pair of parents. One of them was a snow swan hybrid with its barnacle goose mate. Although swans and geese are closely related, the barnacle goose is a far distant cousin. The result? Three of the cutest babies displaying the characteristics of the three genetic donors. Unfortunately, of the three babies observed, two disappear, but the remainder snow barnacle goose swan made it, yet no offsprings were observed. Holy mystery, Batman! Let's travel back in time to an era where the world looked very different. Giants roamed the land and flew overseas, and one particular bat was a common ancestor to many fruit bats around the Caribbean Sea. Two species of Caribbean bats still have a trace of the old, long-gone ancestor. The far-removed cousins mated and reproduced a third species called the Artibius schwarzi. Interestingly, although there is DNA evidence of the ancestral parents, there is an ancestral unknown mother. This is evident in the hybrid fruit bat's DNA found in the mitochondria, the powerhouse of the cell. Mitochondrial DNA can only be transferred from the mother to her offspring. This third species has not been identified yet. Thank you for watching this video about amazing hybrids you probably didn't know about. If you like this type of content, subscribe. And remember, keep an eye on the new crossbreed species of animals emerging. They may be closer to you than you ever imagined. Until next time. Remember to click the bell icon after you subscribe so you can get instant notifications of all our new videos.